In the following video, we'd like to share with you what we would consider the optimal technique of staining of the anterior capsule with blue dye. So now the surgeon might choose to stain the anterior capsule either through the sideboard incision, but I personally like to make the 2.8 keratome entry as well as both the sideboard entries with minimum loss of the anterior chamber while doing so because when I inject through the main 2.8 incision, it gives me a little more room for the fluid to go in and out of the eye. With ease. Now let's move to the blue dye injection itself. This is a vial containing 1 ml of Tripen Blue solution. At the outset, it's very important that we check what is the expiry on the blue dye bottle. And please note the composition of Tripen Blue in this solution. The next step is taking a 1 ml tubercle syringe, which is connected to a 26 number needle, which is demonstrated here, and drawing out from the same vial containing Tripen Blue approximately 0.1 or 0.2 ml of this solution. The piston is then withdrawn a little further to allow a little bit of air in front of the blue dye. This is then connected to a 27 gauge flattened hydro dissection cannula as you can see here and now you're ready to inject the blue dye into the anterior chamber. Please note that despite turning the syringe downwards air still remains in the anterior part of the syringe. Let's proceed with the staining of the anterior capsule. The surgeon first introduces the cannula and starts to slowly inject. So the first thing that comes out is the air and under that bubble of air, the surgeon just drops a few drops of blue dye onto the anterior capsule. This part of the video is unedited and you can see that you can retain the dye in the anterior chamber for up to about 20 seconds or half a minute. And that is generally adequate to uniformly stain the anterior capsule. Once stained, the surgeon then gently washes out the blue dye with a little bit of Ringer lactate fluid. Then the surgeon takes some viscoelastic, removes some of it outside the eye to make sure that there are no air bubbles in the cannula and then injects viscoelastic into the anterior chamber beyond the bubble and then moves backwards gradually and this results in a uniform staining of the anterior capsule. 